हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाय हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम टू कोड करो यारो इंडिया फर्स्ट ऑनलाइन स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस माय नेम इज पॉल गुटका एंड आई एम कोडिंग इंस्ट्रक्टर एट कोड करो यारो एंड टुडे वी आर मीटिंग फॉर अवर सेवेंथ ट्यूटोरियल ऑन स्क्रैच एंड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ फन स्टोरी टुडे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप we have to do is to open google chrome so i'm going to go to google and i'm going to search for scratch once i open scratch uh just a second yeah so you have to open scratch and uh, this is the very first link scratch image in program share uh, you have to click on this link and once you click on the link it will take you to the scratch platform make sure your account is logged in okay uh, if it's not logged in please log in to your account and then we can start with the project we can start creating the project so here is the create option uh, it's at the top create you have to click on the create option and as you all know that a new project is created now here the cat is the default sprite so we don't want cat right now so i'm going to delete the cat and there is a delete option when you click on this uh, delete button you just have to delete it okay and now we are going to uh, choose the sprite for our uh, story today we are going to create a fun story today where we are going to switch the backdrops okay so let's see how it works so i'm going to click on this option choose a sprite at the bottom the circle with a kitty on it you have to click on that option choose a sprite and uh, i'll go to the people category here okay you have to click on this people category and you have to choose a character so right now i'm going to choose a princess uh, as you can see there is a princess here you just have to click on this princess okay and uh, here the princess is uh, ready on our stage now we are going to put a good backdrop okay so uh, for backdrop i'm going to click on this option uh, choose a backdrop uh, the circle which is beside choose a sprite okay there's another circle that says choose a backdrop so once you click on this choose a backdrop circle uh, here you can see so many uh, good backdrops that you can use for your uh, story so right now i'm going to go to the outdoors option and i have a forest option here uh forest option this okay so i'm going to click on this forest option and now i got the forest backdrop so now i have a princess and i have a forest backdrop now i want another sprite as well so i want uh, a good sprite now i want to paint that sprite okay so i'm going to click on this paint option that is the third option in choose a sprite button so when you hover on choose a sprite option there will be this third option paint okay so you have to click on this paint option so once you click on the paint here it will give you the area where you can paint your sprite okay so i'm just going to think what i'm going to paint uh, i want a sprite okay i want some character so um okay let me paint a uh, okay let me paint a girl there okay i want to paint a girl so let me see how i can paint a girl so i'm going to click on this paint option uh, i'm going to just make it black and the paint size uh, i'll just put it to 6 maybe 4 okay i am going to put it to 4 okay so i'm going to try creating a girl okay uh, let me see how i'm going to do that okay you can also create your own sprite
I'm not very good with drawing, but I'm going to try it. Okay, uh, you can also try the drawing. It will always improve your drawing skills. Okay, for the eyes, I think I can use this uh, round shape that will be much easier. I'll paint, uh, I'll fill the color. So, for the skin, I want light orange color that is just like the skin type so let me see if I can make that color for the hands also Okay, it's not allowing me to uh, put the color in this hand. Maybe I'll paint it. Okay, for the frock, uh, I think I want the pink color. Or the purple one. Okay, and... Uh, so, I think I'll just put some design in her frock and uh, I'm going to create her hair ties okay and uh, I'm also going to fill this colors with the circle, maybe some other color. Okay, so this is how you can create uh, the design of any sprite. Okay, it's simple and easy so now I have two sprites here one is a girl okay uh, maybe I'll just put a smile on her face Okay, so now I have two sprites here. So the first one is the girl, okay? And the second one is the princess, okay? So now what I want is, I want to create some uh, animated story between these two characters, okay? So first I'll go to the princess, okay? And uh, I'll put when green flag is clicked, that means when... Uh, the project will start okay whenever I click on this green flag which is a play button okay so uh, when the green flag is clicked uh, I want uh, to go to the looks and I want the princess to say hello for two seconds okay 
then uh, I'm going to go to the control and I'm going to put wait one second and uh, for the other sprite I'm going to go again uh, to when green flag is clicked okay uh, so what I want uh, even this sprite should say hello to princess okay so again it will wait for like three seconds okay and uh, after waiting for three seconds uh, I want uh, it to say hi princess hi princess for two seconds okay I wanted to say like that okay now uh, what for princess I want is that uh, it will say let's go to the city this is a forest right right now they are in the forest so I'm going to uh, write here we have been living in the forest for a long time now let's uh, let's explore something new let's explore something new and let's go to the city okay so the princess is saying that we have been living in forest for so long now let's explore something new and let us go to the city okay so now this princess and the girl will go to the city so for city what we need to do we need to change the backdrop right right now it's forest okay so we have to change the backdrop so there is a switch uh, backdrop 2 as you can see switch backdrop 2 uh, the instruction is there where you can put the backdrop okay so first I'll go to choose a backdrop and I'll choose a city there okay I'll choose a city okay where is the city um, let me check There was an option for colorful city. Let me search. Okay, yeah, it's there. So you have to, uh, you know, put the backdrop uh, to colorful city. But uh, first, when the green flag is clicked, it should be forest. Okay. So you have to put the instruction here that whenever the green flag is clicked, the backdrop should be forest. Okay. So we can go to the looks and. Uh, then there is an option to uh, switch backdrop to forest okay and here we can just change it to colorful city so whenever she says that let's go to the city uh, we have been living here for so long so uh, it will uh, change the backdrop to colorful city okay and uh, for uh, okay for the girl right now we are doing this much only okay so let's see how it works hello we have been living okay so uh, it says little too fast so we can do one thing here um, okay so again we can uh, you know uh, make it say a little bit uh, slower okay so we'll go to the control and we'll again wait for like uh, two seconds or three seconds okay and let's see hello hi princess we have been living in the city for so long okay so this also we have been living in the city for so long it's uh, coming for uh, only two seconds let's do it for 
I think three seconds. Okay, so now the sprites are in the city as we have used switch backdrop 2, right? So, what does switch backdrop 2 means? Uh, whenever, you know, uh, it will say, the princess will say that let's go to the city. So, it will soon uh, switch the backdrop to city from forest. So, first the backdrop was forest when green flag is clicked, okay? So, here we have put when green flag is clicked, we have to... Uh, switch backdrop to forest okay so whenever the green flag is clicked the ba backdrop has to be forest but then it will switch backdrop to colorful city okay now um, here we are going to put another sprite okay so the third sprite will uh, come in the city okay uh, the third sprite will only be sh uh, seen in the city so let's go to choose a sprite and uh, let me choose a good sprite here I'll go to the people. Uh, let me check. Okay, maybe I'll go to the fantasy and see what I can get here. Okay, I like this sprite, Nano. So, I'm going to put this Nano here, okay. So, for Nano, what I'm going to do, uh, see, I don't want it to be seen in forest. I only want it to be seen in city because Nano already lives in the city, right. So, we have hide and show option. So, whenever the backdrop is forest, the Nano will be hided, okay. We won't be able to see Nano. So, in the Nano, what we are going to do in the control, in the events, we have when ba backdrop switches to, okay, when backdrop switches to forest, so when the backdrop is forest, we want nano to hide, okay, because in the forest, nano is not there. So, we are just going to hide the nano, okay, but when the backdrop switches to city, colorful city, we want it to show, right, uh, colorful city, we want the nano to show. Okay, so when uh, the backdrop is forest, the nano won't be there, okay. But when uh, we will switch the backdrop to colorful city, we will see the nano, okay. It will show us the nano and then nano is also saying something like welcome, okay. Because uh, princess and the girl is going to the city, so the nano will welcome them, okay. So here we are going to put uh, like 7 seconds because we need to wait for a longer time, right. And we will say... Instead of hello, hello, we are just going to put the welcome. <coughs> welcome for 2 seconds. Okay, let's see how it works. We will click on the green flag to see the output. Hello. Hi princess, we have been living in the forest for a long time. Let's go to the city. So now the sprites are in the city and there the nano is there, right? So now the nano will wait for some, some seconds and it, uh, the nano will say welcome, okay. Okay, let's see again. Okay, now uh, this works completely fine. So, in the princess, we are going to uh, use the broadcast message, okay. So, whenever, what is the use of the broadcast message? Like, we don't have to track the time every time, okay. Like, uh, we don't have to wait for the sprites to say something that we have to track the time, that how much time it takes and then the other sprite will say, right. So, uh, instead of that, we can just go to the events and then there is a broadcast message. So, whenever uh, she will broadcast the message, the princess, okay, then according to her message, the sprite will say, okay. 
so when i receive message 1 for this right okay so instead of this we can also use when i receive message 1 that means when the princess say something we can make it say welcome okay so when i receive message 1 we can make it say welcome okay so let's see Okay, so this is how the entire code will work. Okay, we can switch the backdrops. Now, suppose the Nano is saying, okay, Nano is saying that uh, when the backdrop switches to colorful city, we can say Nano here. Okay, after show, we can make it say something. Say, uh, let's. Uh, go to eat okay let's go to eat okay so the nano is saying let's go to eat see now the nano is saying let's go to eat okay so we need to find some food items okay we'll go to choose a sprite okay and uh, there is a food truck okay let me see food truck yeah so here is a food truck so whenever um, nano will say let's go to eat something then the food truck will show okay so okay let me see here okay so uh, now in the nano we let's go to eat i'll uh, let's eat something we'll write something like this let's eat something i will call the food truck okay so now the food truck will enter but when when uh, we will put like uh, when i receive message one okay so when uh, we can say uh, when the message is broadcasted by the nano like let's go eat let's eat okay we'll put this message here so when it will receive let's eat okay then it will show then we can show it okay okay let's see Okay, first we need to hide it, right? So, when the green flag is clicked, we will hide the food truck. Because initially, we don't uh, have to show the food truck. So, there is a hide option. You can hide the sprite. let's eat something i'll call the food truck yeah so now the food truck has entered so we can do one thing uh, when i receive let's eat we can wait for like uh, two seconds to uh, you know show the food truck okay or maybe three seconds we can put here three seconds hello we have been living in the forest for a long time now. Let's explore city. Okay, so now food truck has come. Okay, and uh, the three are eating the food, right? So it will be something like this. Okay, so. Uh, this is how you know we can make animated stories uh, with the help of uh, when I receive uh, instruction. Okay, 
so whenever the message is received then something shows up right so uh, this is there now we can also do one thing here we can uh, also put some other sprites that are there in the city suppose car okay so there is a car option also convertible car so the car is moving in the background okay somewhere okay so we can just make it smaller maybe 50 yeah so this car is moving uh, along in the background okay so we can make something like this okay so this car as you can see which is there it is moving so we can we have to make it move so for that we'll go to the yellow circle we'll put when green flag is clicked okay and then uh, we have to use the forever block because the code that we put inside forever does not has to stop right it has to continue on the loop it has to repeat itself until the stop button is pressed so we'll put forever inside the forever we want the car to move so we will move 10 steps okay so move 10 steps and then uh, we can use this instruction if on age bounce okay so that it will touch whenever it will touch the edge of the screen it will bounce back and we can use the set rotation style option also now here uh, we'll click on the green flag okay so this has to happen only when uh, the backdrop is switched to uh, when the backdrop uh, is switched to city right it because the car is not there in the forest so when the backdrop is switched to colorful city then only the car has to be seen okay so let's see so when green flag is clicked we have to hide the sprite okay because uh, from first it will not show so we will hide the sprite initially yeah okay now let's see how it works okay so this works perfectly fine all right so uh now we have to even show the sprite so we'll just make the sprite show so now the car is also moving in the background okay so there is a car moving in the background there is a princess okay there is a nano and then the food truck is being called and uh, this is a whole animation see now let's see from the starting Okay, so this is how you can add more and more uh, story to it. Okay, this was one part of the story where they are first in the forest, and then the princess says, "Let's go to the city." So we are switching the backdrop to the city, and then the Neno says, "Let's call the food truck." So the food truck arrives, and there's a car in the back background that is moving. Okay, but you can make your own story with all these sprites and the. instructions like broadcast message when i receive message okay hide and show so all these uh, instructions we learned today and i hope you enjoyed today's class okay so you can make your own animated stories it will be fun so we that's it for today's class and we are going to meet in our next session with another topic okay bye